Are we there yet? Dan and Bex are waiting in a queue at some traffic lights, and they're wondering if they'll ever change to green. What did the traffic lights say to the car, Bex? Uh, don't look, I'm changing. That is the oldest joke in the world. Almost as old as will be when these lights change. Still on red. Uh, what is the point in traffic lights anyway? Think about it, Dan. If we didn't have traffic signals to help everybody take turns, things could end up... a little messy. Even if you aren't old enough to drive, chances are you know a lot about traffic lights. They're signals you find on roads, which help different road users to take turns, keeping things safe and smooth. Red means stop. Amber means get ready. And green means... can you guess? Green's for go, of course. Green and red are also used at pedestrian crossings too, where you wait for the green man before you cross. If you think about it, colours on a traffic light are the opposite to a banana. Green means stop, don't eat me! Yellow means get ready for banana goodness. And red means... Red means go in the bin, weird banana. Yeah, not sure that works, Bex. Anyway, I reckon it would have been better back in the past when you could just clop around on your horse wherever you went. Signals using lights have been around for a long time. Gas-powered lights were introduced in London in the 1860s to manage horse riders and carriages on the bustling Victorian streets. Traffic was controlled by a police officer using arm signals during the day and by lights at night. Unfortunately, they had a tendency to... explode. But things got better. Electric traffic lights were introduced around the turn of the 20th century. They were needed more than ever as the amount of cars on the roads began to increase. Today, the most basic type of traffic lights run on a timer, giving, say, a minute for each direction. Trouble is, this doesn't always take into account who or how many are using the junction. Pressure plates, cameras, radar and induction loops can monitor the number of vehicles approaching a junction and change the timing of lights accordingly, giving more green light to the busier route. And if there's an emergency, this information can be digitally shared to change the timing of the lights to aid the emergency services. What do you think traffic lights will be like in the future? More colours, maybe? Blue for nice horse ahead? Pink for smile at the person in the next car? Maybe the traffic lights will be able to tell us who's had a bad day and give them green lights all the way home. The future's certainly bright. Some traffic lights already use GPS to give priority to buses, especially when they're running late. And as technology improves, connected vehicles will communicate with each other and with the traffic signals in even more clever ways. Vehicles will be told where the next set of traffic lights are and when they're due to change colour. Cars can then automatically slow down so that they arrive at the lights just as they change to green. No need for any idling, which is good for the environment, keeping the air cleaner. In time, signals may even ask the cars where they're going and change traffic signals accordingly. Lights are green! Finally, let's go! Are we there yet? With support from the Royal Academy of Engineering. Find out more at funkidslive.com slash roads.